Hi, it's your friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi Hörgen with a new tutorial. So today I'm going to show you guys how to create reflections, specifically how to create a monitor reflection from your glasses or something like that. So, as I mentioned before, today we are going to look into how reflection probes work in VC phase. And we will be continuing from the previous tutorial where we went through how to get chat into your Unity setup. So we will be using Spout 2 for this. If you don't know how to use Spout 2, make sure to check my previous tutorial so you have the Spout 2 prepared for your project. I will not go through it today, so we will be using those components. Make sure you check the previous tutorial out. Okay, so for this tutorial, you will also need Unity 2019.4 point, I would say 31, and then Univerum 0.66. Do check out what are the current required versions when you are doing this though, because they do change sometimes. So, shall we get started with the tutorial? So, this week we will be continuing from our previous tutorial, where we went through how to use the Spout 2 system. So, today I'm not going to show you guys how to prepare the Spout 2, so do check the previous tutorial just so that you have all the components you need in your project. So right now in our project we have our avatar and we have the Spout 2 system. Now what we want to do is we want to create some kind of monitor that will reflect from our avatars, let's say glasses or it can reflect on any part of our avatar basically. So the first thing we need to do is create a monitor. So we can add that to our avatar's main level actually. So select your avatar and then click on add a 3D object and then add a quad like so. And we want to move this quad in front of our avatar. It needs to be probably quite far away because the field of view in uh, for example, VC face can be relatively small. So let's move it to a distance like this at the start and we can then move it around later on. So this will be our monitor capture. Now you can of course resize it to look more like an actual monitor depending on your monitor's dimensions, maybe something like this. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a new material. So for this screen capture, I think we are going to use some kind of unlit material, like last time. So let's create a new material. Like so. Let's call it monitor. And then let's select the material to be, we could use the unlit. Unlit for example, unlit texture that comes with VRM. Let's use that one. And now we're going to assign that material to our monitor, like so. And next thing, we need to add the spout receiver component to our monitor. So add component, search for spout. If you don't have the spout receiver, make sure you check out the previous tutorial. The link is in the description on how to get the spout receiver and spout sender to your setup. Okay, so now that we have the spout receiver, we need to write the name of the spout texture we receive. So let's call it spout monitor, like so. And of course, this same name needs to be sent from your OBS. Again, we went this through in the previous tutorial. So use a texture name that you have prepared in your OBS. Okay, so now we have the monitor here. Next thing, we should prepare a surface that actually gets the reflections. Our avatar already has eyeglasses, but the specific eyeglasses only have the rims on them. So we're actually just going to create a quad in front of our avatar's glasses that we will be using during this tutorial to simulate eyeglasses. You can of course use an actual eyeglass model instead. 
So let's select our avatar's head, 3D object, and let's create a quad. Now we need to flip this quad around, like so. And of course, make it smaller. So that is actually the size of our classes. Like so. And then let's move it where our classes should be. Okay, so there we have our eyeglasses. Now, the next step is to create a material for these classes. And this needs to be the kind of material that will reflect things. So, again, let's create a new material. And let's call it glasses. And we will assign the material like so. And now, what kind of shader are we going to use? It depends entirely on your needs. If you have access to Boyomi shader, I recommend you use that instead. But to make this more accessible for everybody today, we are going to just use a standard shader. The standard shader does not look as good as Boyomi shader would with the specific model. But we're going to be using the standard specular setup for this. So, first of all, let's set our specular value to be white, like so. And now what we're going to do is we will set the specular highlights off. And the important thing is to set smoothness to max. Whatever shader you're using, set the smoothness to max. Or whatever value you want to use, this controls the reflection amount. As you can see, the skybox starts to get reflected more as we move it towards one. So let's set it to one right now. And the next step is what's going to be doing the whole magic, and that is a reflection probe. We have not been using reflection probes during these tutorials yet, so today will be the first time we do that. So let's set, select our avatar again and right click and then under the light, we will find Reflection Probe. Now, a Reflection Probe is basically something that will render reflections. So it's almost like a camera. So we will place that in front of our avatar. Basically, it needs to be between our avatar and the screen. And now some settings we need to set for the Reflection Probe to work. First of all, we want to use a real-time reflection probe. This means that whenever something updates on your screen, it will also get updated on this reflection probe. So select real-time. And then refresh modes need to be set to every frame. So this makes it totally real-time. And next thing, you could look around the material and as you can see, it does create this 360 degree representation of the whole scene into the material. Now, if you want to take this further, you could also use like a, a solid color, maybe set it to black or something. This will be important in case you don't have an actual 3D room around your setup, because this does not handle transparency all that well. Okay, so. The next step for us is to basically test this out with VC Face. Now, you may need to do a lot of fine tuning to get the screen to be the kind of size that works for your setup. So this shall be the first phase. So simply let's export our model and see how it looks like in VC Face after this. Okay, so now that we are in VC Face, you will see that the texture is indeed reflecting from the glasses. But one thing you may notice is that it's very pixelated. This is because we did not set the capture quality to be higher. But it's still a good test to see that actually things are working and you can kind of get an idea that things are reflecting as well. But let us go back to Unity and fix the issues that we have there right now. So, when you are in Unity, select your Reflection Probe, and you will see the Resolution button here. 
you can set this all the way up to 2K if you want. And uh, this should boost up the quality quite a bit. Also, do notice, of course, that reflection probes, especially the real-time ones, will require quite a bit of resources. So the higher the texture quality, the more, more rendering time is required. So if you're running on a slow setup, then this might not be the best idea. Okay, so we can try exporting our model again and see how it works this time. Okay, and now you can see that the quality is much better. You will probably also see that our material is actually flipped. This is probably because of this screen. Yes, our screen is currently upside down, so we will still need to adjust that one. But otherwise, I would say that the distance seems to be pretty good from the screen. If you require the screen to show a bit more, you can move the screen quad a little bit more further away from our avatar in Unity as well. But let's quickly fix the final issue with this. So with our screen being upside down, let's simply flip it around by setting the tiling to minus one on the Y value, like so. Now we can also move the monitor away a little bit. See if we can get more of it on the screen in PC face, like so. And now let's finally export the final model and see if it works as it should. Okay, and now that we are in VC phase, you will see that you can actually see quite a bit from the reflections on the screen. So I would say this looks pretty good now. Of course, you will see more with when you actually turn on your tracking and you may need to do some more fine tuning. But this is the general idea. Now, if you want to use actual classes you could either create a like an eye class texture and insert it to the quad and just use that one instead or you could have actual 3d model classes and then just use the reflection material in your actual glass parts of the eye classes i hope this tutorial was useful for you and remember that reflections can indeed be used on many other parts than just your eyeglasses. You can add them to your outfits. Uh, if you want them to look really good, you could combine them with normal maps and uh, basically anything. And of course, you can try different kind of shaders. Uh, the M2 shader that most Vroid users are using does not support reflections. So you may want to try Poyomi shader. That's probably the best alternative at the moment, at least. Anyway, if you like the content, consider subscribing down below. It will really help me out and you'll stay up to date with my latest tutorials as well. We do have a comfy little Discord, by the way. If you have any questions, I recommend you ask them there in the Discord because it's much easier to help you guys there. And there's a lot of people there who already know how to work out most of the issues there. Anyway, see you next time, cuties. Bye bye.